Welcome to my Knox setup video. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is download Knox. Uh, you can do this by going to www.bignox.com. Hit the download button. Um, once you have it downloaded, uh, open up noxsetup.exe um, and install it with the default settings. Um, After you install it, open it up, and uh, we're going to want to change our uh, CPU and RAM settings. And if you're going to use a custom resolution, you can change that here too. Uh, make sure you enable virtualization in the BIOS, uh, otherwise you won't be able to set it to more than one CPU. It's very important for stability if you want to leave it on for any long period of time okay so now once that's done uh, reopen it up um, sometimes you have to open it close it and open it a couple of times because sometimes you get black bars at the top and bottom of the screen when you're switching resolutions so watch out for that it can screw up your macros Okay, so once we're loaded here, we're going to want to record our dummy file so that we can paste in our data over top. So hit the play button in the macro recorder, tap the screen twice, and hit the stop, and that should bring up a new file. We can rename it to whatever we want. Okay. Now let's close this and now we're going to want to activate hidden files so we can find our script folder. It's a, it's a hidden folder so we have to we have to click this option to show it. So go into your organize tab into your folder options and hit view and then click on show hidden files folders and drives and hit apply. Now we can navigate to our record file. So hit users and then your computer name and then you should see a folder named app data. Click on that and then local and then you should see a folder named Knox. Click on that one and then finally you'll find your record file with your macro file that you just recorded in there. So open that up with a text editor. And uh, once you open it up, uh, delete all the data that's in there. Make sure that it's completely blank before you copy in your, before you paste in the script data. So go to the site, select the paste bin link that you want to use. Uh, make sure if you're copy and pasting directly from the site, you hit the raw option and then select all from there. So select all, hit copy. I'll head back over to the macro file and paste in your data. Make sure you save it, otherwise it won't work. So hit save. And then we're going to want to reopen up our Knox and head back into Final Fantasy. So it's pretty much done now. Um, it's just a matter of opening up the app and starting it. Uh, make sure you clean up your home screen a bit. So you don't click on any errand apps that are laying around. And uh, once you get started, uh, we're just going to have to change a couple settings. Um, so open up your macro recorder and click on this little sun icon. And make sure you set it to something other than loop one time because you won't make it very far if it only loops once. Um, you can use acceleration. Uh, I wouldn't suggest using much of it. It uh, affects stability. I uh, usually set it at either one or two, uh, but you can play around with it, see what works for you. Um, and then it's just a matter of hitting play from here. So hope you guys enjoyed the video and good luck with your farming.